Hey there, Kevin Creighton with Shooting Illustrated this week on Rifle Roundup. It's the Springfield Armory Hellion with the 18 inch barrel. And on top of that, we have an EOTech holographic sight and a 3X magnifier. The Bullpup Rifle is kind of a lightning rod for gun owners. Some people really love them, some people really don't like them. I got to admit they're a little difficult for me because I'm cross-eyed dominant and I shoot rifles very often with my left hand and most bullpups are set up for right-handed use only. This is not the case, however, with Springfield's Hellion series. Right out of the box, the charging handle is ambidextrous, the bolt release is ambidextrous, the safety is ambidextrous, basically everything's ambidextrous except the ejection port and that's pretty easy to switch. Doesn't take long at all, don't need any special tools, it's actually really easy to do. The biggest advantage of a bullpup rifle, however, is that you can fit a full-size rifle into a compact package and you can fit maybe even a little bit longer inch barrel into that package. And that's the case of the Springfield Hellion that we're reviewing. It's got an 18 inch barrel and it's honestly as easy to move around as a much smaller gun. However, there is a trade-off with this sort of thing. Because the trigger is in front of the magazine, you're gonna have to have a long connector in between the trigger and the action behind it. The trigger on the Hellion though, quite frankly, isn't bad. Brake is nice and crisp and it breaks cleanly at just over four pounds, which is right about where you want a rifle trigger to break anyway. So as far as bullpup actions go, it's a great trigger. Bullpup rifles work well in close quarters, which is why we topped this rifle with an EOTech 1X holographic sight. EOTech sights are a favorite of military and law enforcement around the world because they're built like tanks and they work. And this is definitely true of this rifle, which was also has a military heritage. So of course we put the two together. The version we tested uses a single CR123 lithium battery, making it a smaller footprint on top of your rail, which again, is not a bad thing. The version we use is the Dash 2 version, which means there are two aiming points inside the circle. The top one gives you an aiming point for 50 and 200 yard targets, while the bottom one is set for targets all the way out to 500 yards. If you're looking at a 500 yard shot, you're probably looking at more than just the one power in a holographic sight, which is why we've added a G43 3X magnifier to this rifle. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, why bother with a holographic sight and a magnifier when you just go with a low power variable optic? Well, the fact of the matter is, you've got a larger eye box with a holographic sight. It's just as fast to snap in that 3X magnifier as it is to spin the dial on an LPVO. Now, there's a lot of people out there saying that a low power variable optic can go up to six power, eight power, even 10 power. So why would you want to use a three power optic? Well, I would say the 223 in any rifle for me is about a 300 yard cartridge. And at that distance, then yeah, a 3X magnifier like the EOTech G43 will work just great. Hey, thanks for watching. For more information on the Springfield Armory Hellion rifle or either one of these EOTech optics, be sure to visit shootingillustrated.com. And if you could, like this video and subscribe to this channel because we do a lot of these videos and we don't want you to miss one.